Hello fans, glad to know that you people are still alive. It's not by power, it's not by might, but the grace of the Almighty God. Now, there are a number of top Nigerian celebrities who have ended lives of other human beings, either by error of omission or commission. Most of them have been convicted and jailed, while some are just lucky to have had fair justice passed on them. All of them are still living with us. And believe me, the identities will probably shock you. Relax and enjoy. Ibinabo Fiberesina. Now, this lady is famous in Nollywood industry. She is actually an actress and a film producer. As a former beauty pageant, she became a household name when she featured in a movie titled Most Wanted. This graduate of University of Ibadan was charged with manslaughter and reckless driving in 2009. Some said she was under the influence of alcohol when she mistakenly killed one Suraj Giwa in 2006. Suraj Kiwa happened to be a medical doctor. Consequently, she was removed as the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria on March 16, 2016, later sentenced to five years jail term by Lagos State High Court Justice Oluwayemi. Thank God she's a free person today. The next person is Tayo Udweke known as Sikira to Sindodo in the Nollywood film industry. She became famous when she personally produced the Yoruba film titled Sikira to Sindodo. And that was exactly where the nickname came from. Tayo was accused of manslaughter, having mistakenly crushed a 16-month-old baby, identified as Damilola to death, while reversing her red Honda CRV car around Adeni Jones, Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. The incident happened on the 19th of December 2009 when Tayo had gone to reunite with a friend, Tokwe Duhati, who just returned from the United Kingdom, of course for the Christmas and New Year festivities. Sindodo was lucky as the parents of the toddler told the police they were not interested in pressing charges against her at the court. Lucky brat. Bonaboy. Damili Ogulu is a record breaker and multiple award winning singer, including Grammy. He is about the greatest musician from Nigeria anyway. He rose to fame in 2012 after coming out with the album titled Life to Party. Bonaboy was said to have stabbed someone to death alongside his criminal drug gang far away in the United Kingdom in 2010. Subsequently, was arrested and tried as a minor and jailed for 11 months and thereafter released so he could serve a two-month parole with community service. It was during this service that he criminally escaped from the United Kingdom and flew to Nigeria, his home country. <laughs> the idiot traveled few years back later and was arrested right there at the airport and guess what happened he was deported immediately with a ban of entry placed on him for a number of years while in nigeria bonaboy signed to aristocrat records and went on to release an lp titled freedom It was only in 2016 that Bonaboy made a triumphant entry back into the UK. Then he was already a shining star in Africa and one of the most soft after musicians in the old world. Rabbi Ismail. She's also known as Rabbi Cecilia. 
Now, this lady is also an actress who is popular among the Yausa speaking movie lovers from the northern part of Nigeria. She played real roles in many Carnywood movies. I mean, that's the nomenclature for Yausa speaking films. Rabi was sentenced to death by hanging in 2005, having been found guilty in a murder case involving her boyfriend by a high court sitting in Kano State. She was said to have drugged and drowned her boyfriend, Ibrahim Awalu, in 2002, who was also an actor. Hmm. So she could take over her property. My God. Greed, greed, greed. Ha! Huh. This criminal of a lady eventually escaped from prison in July 2011. This is Nigeria. I am very sure, not without connivance with greedy prison officials and fantastically corrupt system. Fortunately, six years after, she was recaptured by the state security service who worked assiduously with the intelligence unit of the Nigerian prison service. Rich Oganeru Rich belongs to the Nollywood film industry and greed made him to commit murder against his wife. In 2012, Oganeru was said to have poisoned his wife to death when she had a successful fibroid removal surgery at a private hospital in Abuja. While the lady was recuperating at the hospital, Oganeru had approached the doctors and told them he needed to give his wife a local medicine to quicken her recovery. They never knew he was plotting her death. It was after post-mortem carried out that the truth about the woman's death came to surface. The Abuja-based multi-millionaire woman met Rich Oganeru at a time he was struggling to make ends meet and transform his life in a matter of months. The Oweribon actor killed the woman so he could inherit her wealth. Wicked. This is where I draw the curtain once again, till I bring you another interesting edition. Stay cool and goodbye. <laughs>